Sprint and ADS to come back in Halo Infinite? Let's talk about it and why I think it's going to happen. With the recent announcement of Halo Infinite and the art style that we saw with the game, it's kind of a bit of a merger between old and new, kind of like what we saw with Halo Wars 2. A lot of people were possibly you know, making assumptions that we're going to have some classic gameplay coming back to Halo Infinite due to the art style change. Though, art style and gameplay are two completely different things. But, 343 mentioned on Halo Waypoint why I feel Sprint and ADS will be coming back to this game. So stick around throughout the video, check it out guys, and we'll listen in. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the possibilities of Sprint and ADS coming back into Halo. Do you think they need to be absolutely removed? Do you think it needs to stay? You know, watch the video, leave a comment at the end, and I'll read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. The dreaded ability that's been in Halo since 2010 with Halo Reach, Sprint. Everyone has been talking about Sprint in Halo and how it should, it should stay, how it should be removed. There are people on each side of the fence when it comes to, to this discussion, but we have to think about what is ultimately best for the game. Obviously, we all have our strong opinions about it, but how do we look at this objectively? Because nowadays with modern gaming, Sprint is a rather common ability that's almost kind of assumed to be in your game if you're making a shooter. Obviously, there are some popular games out there that can go without it, such as, say, Counter-Strike. That's really only the major one that's coming to my mind right now. But you think of all the mainline shooters out there, what are the common abilities that are in every one of those games? Sprint and ADS. Now Sprint, like I said earlier, was introduced into Halo Reach, while ADS wasn't really brought into Halo until Halo 5, though it's always kind of had it, especially with the battle rifle be having that zoom in scope, where it basically acted like ADS, but just overlaid on your screen, so it's less, a little bit less of an immersive experience with using the weapon like you can like aiming down the sides of the actual gun rather than having an overlay pop up on your screen so in a way halo's kind of always had ads it's just in different ways but with halo 5 they implemented it with every weapon in the game where in uh, the previous halos it was only some of the weapons now there was a comment made on the halo waypoint post about halo infinite talking about we're so excited to mention our new project kind of post but there was one line here that really kind of like struck with me that i think kind of gives us a little insight to what we might see with the game obviously this is kind of uh taking like a grain of rice planting in it and hopefully just making up the ideas of maybe what can come from that i feel like it kind of leads to what the overall feel of what my halo infinite might be doing uh, I'll just state just one, this one sentence in the whole post really kind of got me saying the goal of the entire 343 Industries team is to make a great Halo game for our fans that also invites new players into our franchise. When you want to bring in new players, each person kind of expects certain ability things to be in each game. Like now we kind of have like weapon customization, some kind of, some form of customization your game needs to have and um, you know what kind of abilities are almost in every popular shooter out there aiming down the sides of your weapon and sprinting and I know people are very very passionate about this topic but I think it's like reading that just kind of screams to me that in the next Halo game we'll have sprint and ADS to kind of help bring more people into the game because you want the people for the new players to jump into again have familiar aspects to it so it's a little bit easier of a transition for them obviously no no ads for every weapon no sprint worked out for halo for one two and three but of course you gotta take in consideration that was over 10 years ago when these games were popular it was a different kind of market back then now personally i wouldn't mind seeing ads or sprint back in the game even though i do even though 3 3 did kind of fib a little bit on the ads saying i remember them saying in a tweet that ads will not improve accuracy which clearly it does in halo 5. um they though they did try a good job of balancing out sprint for the maps as long as the maps are designed properly for these certain abilities that are going to be in the game I don't see an issue really with it. I don't mind Sprint in Halo 5. You know, it's it's rather balanced with the you know, not being able to, you know, have to wait for your shields to kind of you know recharge, then you can sprint again. Well, if you keep on sprinting, then you'll be you know, putting at yourself at a risk of being still shot because while well, your shields aren't able to recharge. So I think it's a nice balance that they put into Halo 5 there. Much better than when they implemented the Halo 4, where everyone's just running around the map all crazy yet still maintaining the similar map style of classic Halo, it just doesn't work. 
Um, and obviously, Sprint is a bit of an illusion when it comes to Halo. Um, you know, I've seen videos online where people running around on midship in like you know classic Halos, and showing that like you know um, in classic Halo you can get from you know the blue base to P2 tower on midship in the same amount of time uh, in Halo 5 sprinting. So really, it's all just kind of an illusion and about you know making players feel like they are moving faster or progressing through the maps better so obviously it's you know all just kind of like smoke and mirrors really when it comes to sprint and halo 5 but as long as the maps are designed properly for it uh i really don't have much of an issue with it i think for the most part uh, at least for all the, most of the competitive maps that are in halo 5 i think are rather well balanced for sprint and ads uh, I think that the hit scan movements are very, very import important for Halo because of the way the movements are in the game. Obviously, Microsoft and 343 have to have some form of data that shows that people want this in their shooters. They have test groups that come in and do this kind of stuff for them to get the kind of feedback from players. Obviously, we're going to be getting some uh, you know, flights for Halo Infinite, so we're going to have like essentially multiple betas throughout the development of this game which i think is absolutely fantastic opening the doors to their fan base to get you know real-time data and real-time uh feedback on what the make how to improve their games because ultimately we're the customers and you know the customers are always right though that's you know a statement that you have to you have to kind of say but you know we're not always right i would say um, you know, uh, 343 even put up as uh, even had presentations mentioning about how sometimes players say they want everything like this, but then it ends up making the game worse. Uh, for example, in Halo 4, they're talking about how the DLC plan was all splitting up the community. They're like, well, make everyone own the maps for Team Slayer. And then once they did that, the player base dropped by like 75%. So, you know. Players, we have good ideas, but not all of them are great. Now, me personally, like I said, I don't really mind Sprint and ADS in Halo 5. I think that for the most part, 343 did a pretty damn good job on the first try, uh, really kind of balancing out those two abilities within the game. I think it's kind of crazy how we can move around the map so quickly, yet map control is still an important thing. And, um, you know, I do, but I also do enjoy the classic movements as well. Like one, two, and three certainly have their charm as well. Um, it's one thing I feel like Halo 5 is really fun to play because of all the advanced movements and techniques and button combos you gotta use. Your hands are very active when playing Halo 5. And then we're at the feel like we're ultimately we're just finally getting to like the deep dive status and these movements that are uh, 343 provided in Halo 5. Though, you kind of have maybe a counter feeling to my point of saying that um, classic movements may be a little bit more uh, inviting to you know, newer players for how simplistic they are. Uh, you know, there's not crazy crouching, there's no boost jumping. You know, it's really just kind of how good your side strafe is and that's about it and how good your aim is. So it's very more, much more simplistic. I feel like it might be a little bit more inviting to new players, though maybe that the movements nowadays just don't hold up to or man, can maintain an audience like uh, they used to. Ultimately, this is just speculation, kind of talking off the top of my head here. Though, well, basically I wanted to talk about is that sentence that I saw on the Halo Waypoint post saying that they want to, you know, please the old fans, but then bring in new ones as well. I think what ultimately brings more people in the Halo is going to be the best move for the franchise to make. Because there is no shooter out there that plays like Halo. There is no Halo-like game. There is no, well, it's like Halo, but, you know, without this kind of thing. You know, it's not like you can do this with Call of Duty. Call of Duty or Battlefield is essentially Call of Duty, but with recoil, bigger maps, but like same kind of idea of the military military shooter. You can't really compare Halo to any other game. No game has the same shooting mechanics, mechanics movement mechanics, uh, can make certain game modes play really well within its uh, sandbox. And I think Halo is just the best shooter out there on the market right now. And I feel like more people need to experience this to understand like what I'm talking about. I'm not the crazy guy on top of the mountain going, this is the best shooter and I know why. So to bring it all back, what do you guys think about Sprint and ADS coming back to Halo? Are you kind of sharing my point of view of going, you know what, if it works for the game, it works for that game. You know, it's all about how you balance out the weapons, the movements, map design, 
everything kind of has to be a cohesive piece all together for it to truly work or are you one of those people that you're just like you know what no sprint it worked back in the classic halos that's why they were so popular you know they worked really well they were fun to play with then why change why reinvent the wheel kind of thing and just throw it all out the window and go back to classic movements give me the halo 3.5 obviously a little bit of exaggeration there but you know what i mean is that uh classic movements people are very passionate about having the classic movements but people also are very passionate about the new move, new mechanics as well so leave me, let me know in the comment section down below guys i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well let me know what you thought about this video by tapping the like button if you enjoyed it you know and uh, if you want to see some more content from me and some news about anything halo related make sure to tap that subscribe button with the bell let you know every time we upload anything awesome to this channel which is going to be every time come on but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out